Okay, we'll finish the discussion on the recurrence formula in section 15.4 this time to derive the last one, the last independent one from the other one that we derived uh, in the last two times. So now uh, the starting point we can start with the generating function and take the derivative with respect to x and it turns out that there is actually another uh, easier way to do that, but we'll start doing the same thing, just like um, applying to other generating function. So we take the derivative, so, so we have g, g sub m given by this form, so we take dg m dx, okay, so now that will give you uh, this minus m plus one half factor and the same factor divided by uh, one more time this factor so it becomes a uh, m plus one plus one half okay and then uh, take the derivative of the factor will give you minus two t okay and then you have all everything else minus one m two m minus one that's a vectorial. Okay. Now we can use the same thing here and uh, using the fact that this two m mi minus one times if you use this denominator becomes 2m plus 1 divided by 2, okay, and that will combine with this factor give us the 2m plus 1 double factorial real, and combining with this factor, and then uh, with one more negative sign here, that will give us the g sub m plus 1, okay, so multiply by uh, the only thing left is this t and the negative sign, so negative t times g sub m plus 1. Okay, so now we can apply um, the same thing, this in the here and also here. So this take the derivative of this one, so it gives you summing s from 0 to infinity p s plus m pi m t to the s now this gives you this one and multiply by the negative t factor so negative s from 0 to infinity now this is m plus 1 and this becomes s plus m plus 1 and then t to the s plus 1 because of this t factor t to the s plus 1 okay now we will do the same same thing shift this uh, to um, make the both side proportional to uh, each term proportional to t sub s that means this start from 1, this is p, s plus m, this is m plus 1, okay, and then uh, this is t to the s, okay, so if you uh, equate the same factor in front of t sub s, which means uh, p s plus m. Uh, we can now do the same trick, or uh, same substitution. s plus m is just our s, our l, l m pi equals to minus p l m plus m. Okay, so that is. Uh, is what we finally get uh, after this derivation, and this actually can be seen quite in 
the quite straightforward way by the uh, relationship, uh, the expression for the script P, the associated agenda polynomial with respect to the legenda polynomial, because uh, if we copy the formula here, so the script P LM is just minus 1M to, to the power L, L factorial B, D, X with L plus M power and then X square minus 1. I think it's a uh, Uh, yeah, x squared minus 1. Okay, so, so we see that uh, by this, you can get this relation in, quite, in a quite straightforward way. So if you change that to m plus 1, this will give you one more derivative. So basically, you take the derivative, will give you, uh, except for the one negative sign, will give you pl m plus 1. Okay, so... And that's our starting point. So, and we can use that to get the recurrence formula for the associated legenda function using this def definition. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is take the derivative of capital P L M pi. Okay, just take the derivative of this one. So now you have two terms. So so one is uh, take the derivative of this one. You have m over two, and then one minus x squared m over two minus one, and take the derivative of that will give you minus two x. So two cancel with this, so you have minus m x, and then uh, this minus one you can sub divide that one minus x squared. Okay. And the rest you can use back this uh, this the definition to give you PLM. And then the second term will be taking the derivative of this one. So it's 1 minus x squared and over 2. And take the derivative of that will give you this one. So it will give you give it this one minus m plus 1. Uh, Okay, and now this one, uh, if you use the same uh, formula, if you want to get uh, uh, a p l m my m plus one, you need to multiply by minus one to the x square m plus one m over two plus m plus one over two. You have m over two. So you need an extra factor plus one half. So you need to divide it by one half. So that uh, so that will give you so combining this so minus m x p l m minus x squared. And this one will give you minus. PLM over minus x squared to the one half. Okay. Now this is uh, a valid uh, recurrence formula, and it's not exactly in the same uh, form in fifteen point ninety one or ninety two. To do that, you um, to get those uh, two, you need to add the recurrence formula and substitute into here to get those. And so let's try um, one of them. 